scoop to it. Now, I know. I know this pity. I know this is pity. So, I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm out here in the port in um, Panama City, right? And I don't like going to ports. Okay? I don't like going to ports. I don't like going to ports because every port is different. And then everybody think that you just supposed to know everything about the port when you go to the port. Now, if you work the same, like, two ports all the time, that's different. You know the routine, you, 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 you know. But if you don't work ports regularly, then every port is different, right? So you got to go in, right? They were like, well, well, what's your passport and everything like that? I'm sly. No, nah, I don't have a tweet card. Well, we looked you up, and it said that you used to have a tweet card. I said, you asked me if I have a Twit card. You didn't ask me has I have I ever had a Twit card. I said, my Twit card didn't expire. You know, then they said, well, you still can use your um, expired Twit card if it's um, expired less than a year. Like my passport, it's expired, right? They said, well, you still can use your passport if it's expired. Listen, it's been more than a year. So my passport is no good and my Twit card is no good. So I had to go and get one of these, right? And pay the uh, $50 for the escort. I had to go and pay the $50. Now, I made the broker, which was Landstar, pay the $50. I'm not paying the $50. I said, that's not even on the rate card. Well, I, I figured, well, well, that's you. Why should I have to pay fifty dollars out of my pocket? I said, why should I? Have? Well, well, could you, I said, listen, if I pay fifty dollars, you are gonna have to pay me a hundred dollars. I said, so do you want to pay the fifty dollars or want me to pay the fifty dollars? So he was like, he at home, and he just put another hundred dollars on the rate card. I'm like, well, cool, no problem. So I paid fifty dollars because now I'm getting nineteen hundred. For this load from uh panama to uh my house well it's, it's to miami so that would be 637 miles that i'm getting uh for the 1900 so i was like okay cool no problem that's fine so i went up another 50 dollars and i made sure that i get that hundred dollars that my 18 percent is not taken out of that uh of that hundred dollars too so i had to make sure that 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 too so i was like man what these poor people just think that well you do this do this uh well you go here you go here and, and you do this you here oh you're gonna go to oh okay so where oh at? you don't know where oh at? i said man listen last time i was at this port was five years ago so no i don't know or remember what oh it and i didn't even come where oh was it last time I was here. So I don't know where no O is it. So then I said, plus I'm paying $50 for an escort. So he said, yeah. So let the escort show me where O is. If I'm paying $50 for him to ride in the car for two, three minutes. All right? I'm like, what's wrong with all these people? You paying for an escort. You want me just to go ahead and go up in there after I didn't pay you $50. No, you going to get in the car and you going to drive me to where I need to go. When I finish, you're going to drive me back out. Paying $50, man. Why? why that's why I, I don't like coming to the ports, man. Then you, you know, you, all, all, you always got to sit. Then you got to wait. Then you got to wait till the escort come. And so I'm like, man. So that's why I try not to go to ports, man. I really do. So if you ask, so why you go to ports? Well, I had a load that I took from um, Orlando to Pensacola. And that load paid me $1,400. So I had to get a load coming back home so I could be home for Thanksgiving from uh, Panama. All right. So I'm headed back down south. And now it, that's paying me 1900 to go to uh, Miami. So in this load, it delivers Saturday, which is good because I can do my 34 hour reset Thursday and Friday. And Saturday, I deliver in Miami. And then I pick up in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida on Saturday. To go to uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Ohio for a uh, Monday morning 
delivery. And because it's Saturday and it's after Thanksgiving, um, yeah, you do get pretty decent rates out of Florida. So I got, I'm getting a dollar eighty-seven a mile, maybe a dollar eighty-eight. One of them, dollar eighty-eight or a dollar eighty-seven a mile. Uh, I'm taking that up to uh, Cincinnati. So I couldn't, you know, cry and complain about that. You know, so that was pretty good. You know, it's like 1700 bucks. It's 912 miles, 950 miles coming out of Florida. So you do catch a break every now and then uh, on these Florida loads during the holidays because it's not that many trucks down here and loads still need to go. So because loads still need to go and it's not that many trucks, well, there you go. You get um, better rates, but then you still want to get out. So I wanted to start my week out up there in the market that I've been running, which is Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, and uh, Pennsylvania, because it's better paying loads up there. So I'm getting a load going back up there so I can start off on Monday, and then I'm going to be up there until it's time for me to come home for Christmas. And I'm just going to be running those particular markets up there for a while. So that's why I was kind of happy with this so I can have you know Thanksgiving off all day Friday off and then I can uh, leave out the house Saturday morning about six o'clock to handle all my business spend Thanksgiving and put up the Christmas tree with my daughter because she's been asking about putting up the Christmas tree and things like that and start decorating the, uh, the yard and stuff like that so spend some daddy daughter time you know all the all the type of good stuff Man, but these ports, man. For y'all people who work the ports, bless you. Bless you. Y'all have the patience. And I, I, I salute you. I really do. To do this day in, day out, every day. Even if you're doing it every other day. And just going through all this stuff with the ports and everything like that. And then the lady want to um, search my truck, right? She's she like, uh, do you have any weapons? Because, you know, we don't allow any firearms or anything like that inside the port. So yeah, man, come on. Come on, search. Go ahead and search. I said, but the blue bag got all my dirty underwear up in it too now. So if you're gonna, you know, dig through my blue bag, just just know there's some dirty underwear up in there. I gotta take home and wash it now. So yeah, just go ahead and come on and stuff. And stuff. Go ahead and come and, and search it and stuff. So she made one step. Uh, she stuck her head in the truck, opened the curtain, looked back. She said, okay, you good. I'm like, all right, no problem. Yes, y'all know I do have a weapon up in here, but they're not going to search your thing all in and out all over the place. They're not going to do it. And then once I saw I was going to the port, I got a secret location inside my truck for places that you can't not carry uh, weapons to. That is very, very, very hard to find. Very hard to find. I mean, that's one thing I like about this Cascadia, man. It, it, it got some spots up in here. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. But anywho, anyway, hey, y'all have a nice Thanksgiving. Yeah, my little rant about the port. You know, it's not really a rant. It's just why I don't like going to ports. I mean, it's just really why I don't like going to ports. And they just think that you're supposed to know. It's just like other places. They act like you're just supposed to know. They don't tell you nothing. You go there and then they're like, okay, do this, go here. Well, where is that at? Is it to the left? Is it to the right? Is it around the back? Where is it at? Give me a map. If you give me a map, at least I can follow the map. You know what I'm saying? Some of these places, man, just act like they, like you just supposed to know everything. 